Dark Hall, six investigators are tracking an ugly new concern at some of our favorite businesses. And an Indianapolis mother says it caused her little girl to see something that no child should ever see. It's another threat from technology that our Call 6 investigators have been working on. And investigative reporter Stephen Dean is here with another warning for parents and everyone else. We're finding more restaurants, doctor's offices, and other businesses putting iPads out for customers to use while they're waiting. And one local mom found out the hard way when it comes to iPads in public places, you can get quite an eyeful of trouble. And make sure it's through all the rubber bands. She can spend hours with her rainbow loom, carefully twisting and attaching to make that perfect bracelet. And nine-year-old Leisha McWilkin learns some of her techniques on this stuff on the internet using an iPad. Plus, an iPad gives her plenty of games. I like to play Temple Run, Subway Surf, and games like that, where you kind of, it's like an obstacle course, where you kind of have to like jump over things and get coins. This fourth grader has even more fun with an iPad when she can enjoy it with her other true love, which happens to be yogurt with mixins. I can't decide between chocolate, cheesecake, and um, what's that? Call it again. It's red velvet cake? Yeah. She does get both red velvet cake and an iPad to have fun with at Nutri Yogurt in Greenwood Park Mall. When we bought a drink and sat down, we found the iPad full of selfies and hundreds of other pictures of customers goofing off. Leisha's mother thought it seemed harmless enough. We were taking pictures and just sticking out our tongues and stuff. And my daughter um, was like, well, let's go to the beginning. We can make a little flip book. But when they scrolled through their silly pictures, they found someone had left a picture picture on there from earlier that wasn't funny at all. I, I just screamed. I was like, ah! She told managers at the store and the mall it was a picture of a grown man's genitals displayed in a sexual manner there to surprise any customer or child. I don't know. She was just kind of, she didn't really know what it was, and I think she wondered why I screamed. With tablets being so popular, they're showing up in all kinds of waiting rooms and businesses like this one at the CPR cell phone repair shop on South 31. People take pictures of themselves and they do that while I'm standing there. So um, I just have to go through it from time to time and, and make sure I delete everything off of it. Manager David Grose says with his staff working all day on mobile devices, he knows there are security settings and even apps that can be downloaded to keep smut off devices, but it's up to business owners to add this technology to their daily routine. It's something you're going to have to check. I mean, it's really in this day and age is going to be the same thing as sweeping the floor, making sure that a spill gets mopped up. Um, it's all safety related. The iPads were removed for a while with workers telling customers it's because people put bad stuff on there. But then the iPads were put back. McWilkin says the store owner told her it would be rude to other customers to take the devices out for good. But isn't it rude to knowingly expose um, people to this? I mean, it just it doesn't make sense to me. It kind of baffles me. Police told that mom that no crime was committed because the child had to actually push a button on the device in order to access the obscene material. But experts tell us this is a wake-up call, that adults need to check these devices carefully before handing them over to a child, no matter where you are. Stephen Dean, RTV6. Nutri Yogurt sent us a statement saying it's now removed the devices and is investigating the matter. The mall's owner also emailed us that it takes all customer com comments seriously when it comes to its stores. We have posted both statements on our website, theindychannel.com.